this is Bob with RealTVFilms.com. We're in Austin, Texas, covering the South by Southwest Film Festival. I got Georgina Lightning, who's uh, been gracious enough to take the time to talk to us. She's uh, directed the film, Older Than America. It's a pleasure it's to meet a, you, man. Thank you for being It comes from your own family experience. Yeah. So let's talk a little bit about how you started to uh, write and why you started to write this and, and how you, when you decided to make it into a film. Um, well, I've always been attracted to media that matters. Right. Um, so when I actually had support as a filmmaker to make a movie of my, you know, anything that I was interested in, it's I definitely wanted to make something that was media that matters. And what matters to me is is my community, the well-being of my the Native American community. So. Um, as a Native American woman and born a caretaker, I just thought, let's make something that's going to have an impact on both sides, so non-Natives and Natives, and something that can help to promote or help out our community. And uh, right. we're in a really dark state right now, like Native America. A lot of our youth are lost. Um, they've turned to alcohol and drug addiction on my reservation. There's a lot of crack, cocaine going on with our, with our young people. I mean, we're losing them left and right. And suicide. Suicide is astronomical, and I, I've had that in my life with my, a lot of my friends, families, and children that I was, who, children that I was involved with right. when I was in uh, child care. But on a, you know, the most intimate level is, is uh, my dad committed suicide when I was 18. He hung himself. And I just thought, you know, I, you just plug it into your brain, like, I need something. I, I, you know, as an artist, I needed to express something. So when I sat down and started writing a story, that's what came out. Right. It was like the boarding school issue. I need to cover that. And then I built a story around that boarding school issue because that's something that needed to come out of me, you know. And that's just like praying and asking the creator. I'm a very spiritual individual. And so that's just what came out, you know. And I guess that's the impact that I've got on me, the impression I'm a product of boarding school and my dad was a victim of. So that's what came out as an to go to the boarding school. Rain suffers from serious delusions. How are the kids? I didn't hit them, did I? Kids? There were no kids. Oh, Rain. I'm seeing things, Johnny. Just like my mom did. You have been showing through these visions what they do to you? The truths of the past. Kill the Indian, save the man. They tried to whitewash us. You know where she is. You tell me hey. where she is. Hey. I'm just telling you to be careful, that's all. What if they make up some bullshit story that she's a schizophrenic like her ma, huh? They thought they were taking base savages, the devil's children, and converting them into civilized human beings. You knew the truth and you kept silent. I am merely God's vessel. Now, your father um, committed suicide when you were 18, is that correct? Yes. And um, it had to be, for me personally, I would think that there would have to be a span of time before you could really even think about delving into what, what caused this to happen. When did you decide it was the right time to tell the story? Hmm. Well, see, that happened when I was 18, and I didn't really have access or, or any kind of venue in order to write it. I've written songs because I was in music, too, mm -hmm. Fantasies of Flying, different things that dealt with suicide because that was my first fascination because I was really self-destructive as a, as a young teenager. And then um, after my dad committed suicide when I was 18, I did an attempt, and it was an insane attempt when I was 19, on my 19th birthday, actually, which is July 4th, um, Independence Day, mm -hmm. which is crazy as a Native American. But yeah, that was, um, that, that was a heavy-duty attempt, and I survived it. And that's when I started questioning, why? What am I doing here? And I became fascinated. I needed to know and understand suicide because I realized there's something that I'm here for. There's a purpose and reason why I'm here. 
And so I've got to figure out what that is. Was there ever any thought of making this into a, a documentary? Or did, did you ever think going that way? Or you always wanted to tell, although it was off of true life events, you always wanted to tell a fictional account? Yes, I always wanted to tell, tell it that way. Because if you, if you tell people that you're making a documentary about boarding school, how many people are you going to attract to that? You know, I mean, there is a movement where documentaries now are being seen more than they were, but my attraction is to film. I, I love film. And when I was a child, when the seed was planted, it was, it was on watching movies. I never knew what a documentary was when I was, a, you know, a six-year-old kid. So I was attracted to the power, not even knowing, I mean, just being a kid. And it was my dad, actually, that came home and caught me in the living room before I had a chance to run and hide in my room. But I was sitting there, and all of a sudden my dad walked in, and I'm like, oh, my God. You know, so I'm sitting as still as I can, and he sits down on the sofa, and I'm not moving, I'm not saying nothing. But, I mean, when I'm a kid, there's, there's two channels, French and English. The programming back then, I mean, you know, old yeller and stuff like that. Right. So, so we're watching some su Sunday afternoon movie. The end comes, and all of a sudden, I hear some weird, you know, weird sounds, and I'm like, "What is that?" And I, str you know, strain my eyes as far over to the right as I could without letting my dad know I was looking at him to see what was going on. But he got emotional for a second. I was like, "Oh my God!" And the, I don't know. Something happened there where I saw the power that was in that box that we were watching. Those people on the screen made my dad human for it and tender for a second. Right. And that power was just so attractive to me. And I just figured, you know, as a kid, it's the actors, it's the people on the screen that made my dad do that. Until you grow up and figure out, oh, it's the story, it's the content, you know, that can move people. So I'm just attracted to what that does. And I've always, I always want to make movies. Now, how did you pick to cast? I mean, there's some interesting people. I've recognized some familiar faces. How did you pick to cast to be a part of it? Were they were they sp specifically picked by you, or yeah. did you? Well, um, yeah, I picked the entire cast. Some of them was were for for auditions from from our audition process. The Spirit Babies had never acted before. Some of the cast, it was their first time experiences right. because of, you know, part of Tribal Alliance Productions, my production company with Audrey Martinez, we have a nonprofit segment and it's creating opportunities for Native Americans in the film industry. So um, there is some first timers, some of the smaller roles, but like Wes Studi, Adam Beach, Tantu Cardinal, Glenn Gould, Gloria Eschkebach, those are those are very dear friends of mine. They're people, especially Wes and Tantu. I mean, their resumes, mm -hmm. they've got over 100 credits each. Those are people that I've watched their careers since I was a kid. And I just, I always admired them. And I just thought, one day, when I make my first film, I want my very favorite people in the whole wide world, people that I admire and respect, to be a part of it. So when I asked them and they said, Oh, absolutely, I'm there. Without even reading the script, I was like, that took my confidence level from here to here. Right. Having that kind of support from people that you love and respect. You know, and Adam, I've known him since the movie Smoke Signals. Um, we've remained very close friends since then. So I just called on my friends to... I want my friends to surround me. I need that kind of support, man. I made my first film as a director. Well, yeah. I know that I know that that helps. Now, t let's talk a little bit about South by Southwest. This is a, a great venue for filmmakers like yourself. Mm -hmm. Tell us what the reception has been here. Oh, we're here at South by Southwest, yeah. and I'm I'm so excited. I mean, when we got the call from Matt, uh, who runs the programming, mm -hmm. um, I was actually in Fond du Lac. I was on the res, and the producer goes. Oh my goodness! Well, our director is out of town right now, but let me let me see if I can get a hold of her. She's on the res. There's no cell reception, so she gets a hold of me, and she says we need to call him tomorrow. They called on Sunday, and we right. needed to call Monday. This is three days after they received the film, and we thought we were going to wait for a couple months. So it's like they're so excited about it, and they said that they love the film and they want to program it in their dramatic competition. It's like, competition? Oh, my God! What an honor! Yeah. And that kind of enthusiasm for our film, it's like, pff, absolutely. Mm -hmm. That is where we need to have our world premiere, where, that, where there's that kind of you know, acceptance to the film and appreciation and that kind of energy, because that's kind of the energy and spirit that we have behind the entire film. Well, this is, sounds like, I mean, I could probably sit here all day and talk about this. Mm -hmm. um, it sounds like it's been an emotional journey for you, and you've gone through different phases as you've uh, created the story. Yeah. 
It has been an absolute pleasure to meet you. Congratulations on the success of this film. And um, best of luck to you in the future. Thank you so much. I hope our paths cross again. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> oh, and you guys can check out our website. Yeah. If you're interested in the film, it's www.olderthanamerica.com. We have a trailer on there, the synopsis, our cast, everybody. So. Perfect. Yes. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Oh, sure.